Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Dave the Balloon Dude here with episode 6 of Balloons from the Movies. Uh, today I'm going to do an old movie, a movie from my childhood, and that'll be Aladdin. And today, I'm not showing you how to do Aladdin or Jasmine. It's a pretty standard, just a regular person. But instead, I'm going to show you guys how to do today a two balloon magic lamp. It's a pretty nice design, not too difficult, and it's pretty good, maybe even as a centerpiece. And so, let's get started. Alright, to start our magic lamp, you need two balloons. I've tried doing this a lot with one balloon, but I can never get the proportions to work out just right. That's why I've just decided to call it two. Uh, the first one, blown up with about an 8 inch tail. I'll show you right there. And then the other one, you just need to blow up a little bit. Anyway, for this, you're going to start with a tulip twist. And for that, you just poke the knot down inside, as far as you can go and grab it, pull your finger out. I found the best look for the lamp is when you grab, when, once you've grabbed it, take your finger at the front and push it in again. That gets the knot down deeper, gives you a really, really long tulip twist. Twist it. See? It's a pretty long one right there. And when you're still pulling the knot, make, make a small ear twist. Make another small ear twist. These will give support to the front nozzle and help make sure it points the right way the entire time. Make sure you shape that out a little bit. So, so far, that's what we got. Come on. There we go. Keep this soft. Now you can do about a three inch, or about a hand's length bubble. A little longer, right there. Right about there. Keep the soft, and then you're gonna do a small loop twist. It's about three fingers wide, right there. Now, two more small ear twists to give this support as well in the back. Okay. And now we're basically gonna go back and forth, doing about four more of these. And let me show what we're doing. Bring it up next to it. Do one same size. Bring it underneath. Under, we have these two right here. Bring it under the bottom. Do another one. Bring it under again. And do one next to it. So far we're doing four. You take this last one, go across the top again. And twist it in. Twist it into the ear twist so it stays good. And then get rid of it. And then get rid of the excess. So far, here is our lamp. Make sure you reorganize it and have it situated just like this. Have your nozzle in front, go in the angle you want, and then have the handle in the back straight up and down. So there you go, right here, side, back. The three bubbles on top, and the two on bottom. They look just like a magic lamp. Now we take the small balloon, and you're going to poodle tail it. There we go. Right about there. Pretty small bubble, maybe a little bit smaller, right there. That's perfect. And then you tie it off. Once you've got that bottom part tied off, tie a knot in the bottom of this one. And then you tie the knot of this to a knot of this. There we go. Then you marriage twist them together. And you don't need much from the from the bottom part. You need more than that. Right. There you go. Now I'm gonna cut off this bottom knot. I was trying to get a hole in there at least. 
So that'll start off. I'm going to tie this so the marriage twist is not coming done. But I can keep the rest of the balloon there because I'm going to need that in a second. All right. Reorganize it, kind of. Position it like this. And go back to your lamp. Take the tip of this and stick it down through one of these sides. What you need to do is you need to get this string all the way around and back up through the other side. You can do that however way is easiest for you. Once you've got it all the way around, you take it and you just tie it around the other part. And then tie it, and then once you got tied, cut off the excess. Alright, so far, there it is. Position it right in the middle. And now you kind of got to roll that middle section down, pull the bottom part open a little bit, reposition this the way you like it, and keep going until you think it looks good. Another thing you could do if you have it on too loose is you have access to the string on the bottom. You can pull it out a little bit, maybe tighten it or not in there so it pulls down, this down tighter. I'm going to leave that right there just for purposes to show you the video. And anyway, right there, I've got a two balloon magic lamp. Just like an Aladdin. There's a tutorial for your two balloon magic lamp from Aladdin. Um, this balloon does scale. It does work with 160s. And I actually think it looks better with the 160. Um, here I made a black one like Jafar's in Return of the Jafar and Aladdin. Uh, the only difference is for this part right here, I use a black 260. Made it look a little bit better. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Hope you guys can get some use out of these magic lamps. Uh, maybe just make them for some kids, make some parties. Uh, maybe throw in a Jafar from Aladdin or a, a genie. Anyway, have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to hit like down below and to hit subscribe. I will have more videos coming up. I'm uh, hoping to have more out every week, hopefully. And if you have a movie you want to see designed from, or a video game, or anything you want to see, uh, email me. My email is in the description down below, or you can put it in the comment, and I'll see if I can if I'll, and I'll get it for you. Anyway, this is Dave the Balloon Dude, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and have a good day.